So first off, the INFP Four Wing Five is going to be known for breaking a few rules every now and then. Hey, it's Brendan at Psycasserol, and today I'm talking about the INFP combined with the Enneagram Four Wing Five. So what the Enneagram is, it's this old system that divides everybody up into these nine archetypes. Everybody fits into one of these archetypes. And so the fourth archetype in the Enneagram is the individualist and the fifth type is the investigator. When you get the individualist combined with some traits of the investigator, and then on top of that, you put it with the INFP, then you're gonna have a combination that's very unique. And that's what I wanna talk about today, how that four wing five changes the regular INFP. But first, I wanna ask you to subscribe if you haven't yet, and make sure you stick around to the last point because it's my personal fave. So first off, the INFP Four Wing Five is going to be known for breaking a few rules every now and then. So what I mean is, you know, rules in the workplace, rules in everyday life. So the INFP Four Wing Five is gonna naturally have this disposition that wants to push against authority and push against the structure of things as they exist. You know, having this thought of, hey, if there's an easier way that I can get this done without harming anybody and just using my creative thinking abilities, if I can get this done, like that would be amazing. I mean, why not do that? INFP four wing fives can be exceptionally stubborn. So INFPs in general are known for being really stubborn, especially when their values get stepped on. But when you add the dimension of the four wing five from the Enneagram, and you know, the four wing five implies that this person is searching for answers and this person is trying to figure out who they are and what their life means. When you combine these two things, I mean, that's a really intense combo. And the stubbornness comes from the INFP four wing five knowing the experiences that they've been through and doing the self analysis and knowing who they are best, better than anybody else. And having this information can obviously lead to stubbornness because it's like, well, if I know myself better than other people, then why should I listen to other people? Another aspect that I wanna mention is that this type tends to be more logical than say the reggae INFP. So like when you have an INFP, you know, INFPs can be very logical. When you add that five wing, especially to the mix, so that implies that there's an investigative side to the INFP. The INFP is interested in investigative modes of thinking. They wanna collect facts. They want to know how to solve puzzles. They're interested in collecting knowledge. So this you know, implies that this type of INFP is gonna make more logical decisions overall. The next point I wanna make, and this is gonna sound kinda of cliche, but it's very true, is that the INFP four wing five is looking for the meaning of their life. So as they grow up, they're gonna feel like they don't fit in. They're gonna feel like, you know, why do I feel different or why do I seem different than others? And the INFP is trying to find their way. And as they get older, they discover their values, you know, through trial and error. They discover their values. They discover what they like, what they don't like, you know, what resonates with them, what definitely doesn't resonate with them. But it's like they're at the center of a movie. It's like they're Frodo Baggins. If you look at the book, you know, it centers around Frodo. You know, he's sort of like, everything kind of comes back to him because he's the one carrying the burden. I'm not implying that INFPs are carrying any sort of burden. I'm just saying that INFP four wing fives tend to see themselves as at the center of their movie. That's not to say that the INFP four wing five is always like just thinking about themselves because it's not true at all. It's just that they base all of their decision making off of what their own values are. If they value hard work, if they value honesty, that's gonna show. INFP four wing fives tend to care more about fashion than your reggae INFPs. That's true. You know, if you look at some INFPs, they don't really have a care for fashion or some do, but it's just a more like neutral fashion. It's not super expressive. And then sometimes you'll see INFPs who actually have like a really quirky and expressive fashion sense. And oftentimes these types are the INFP four wing fives. INFP four wing fives often have a dark side. And, you know, this dark side can often be at the forefront of their life. You know, if, if an INFP is living in an unhealthy way, they can show that dark side pretty readily. INFP four wing fives tend to have tons and tons of hobbies. So they're not great at small talk, but if you start talking to them about a hobby, they'll talk your head off. You know, INFP four wing fives tend to be smart individuals, so they're gonna have tons of interests. Now, if they bring up an interest and they're in a talkative mood, they might chat your head off. But if you go up to them and you're like, hey, you know, what's up with that weather? Or, you know, what do you think about this sports team? They might not be so interested. INFP four wing fives tend to be sensitive on the inside. You'll see that sensitivity if you're in their inner circle. My inner circle allows you to be sensitive. 
the next thing about this type is that they're highly introspective. So you know INFPs are so introspective. And you add this Enneagram 4 aspect, the individualist, and you can see how that would add a fourth dimension of introspection into the mix. And my last and favorite aspect of the INFP 4 wing 5 is that they're emotionally authentic. So this is the coolest aspect of the 4 wing 5 because we can lie. Everybody can lie. Humans lie, right? But INFP 4 wing 5s aren't really going to lie about their emotions, at least to themselves. They're going to say, you know what, this is what I feel. This is who I am. This is what I'm going to be. This is what happens when an INFP reaches emotional maturity. It's being able to express themselves and realizing the importance of expressing themselves and how that affects them. You know, a lot of types don't express themselves emotionally or they do it very rarely. The INFP 4 wing 5 is going to be emotionally authentic. It doesn't matter where they are. They could be at the workplace. They could be at home. It doesn't matter. And that's the coolest aspect. It's like that person's, a, that person's a person. Like that's interesting. And that wraps up my discussion about the INFP 4 wing 5. My name is Brendan and you've been watching Side Casserole. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Peace out MBTIs.